Well, we finally did it. Got ourselves a nice, quiet, secluded lake. Great mountain views. And great weather for the next few days. So we thought. Luckily, in the late afternoon on the third day, the weather began to break. We were finally able to get out and photograph some Colorado mountains. Today, we are still in San Juan National Forest. There's so, so much opportunity in this, in this area, just north of Durango, and probably for the next two, three weeks easy, I'll probably still be down in this area, because there's so much to see. Right before I headed up here, there's a guy coming down the, coming down the road saying there's, if I follow the road about a mile up, there's a big gorge and he said you can get really nice, view, nice views of some nice mountain peaks. So maybe tomorrow we'll go check that out. But today, right now, we're on this trail heading up to Potato Hill, then off, off in the distance here, right through the trees. Forget that, I forget what that one's called. It has a name, and then right behind us, right through there, is Engineer Hill or Peak. I can't remember. But last night and earlier this morning, got some really nice shots with those storms coming in, real dramatic, almost like mysterious type photos of those mountain peaks with all that clouds rolling in front of them and it was just it was just something else so already got some nice nice images from this location and hopefully get some more so we're gonna continue up here oh yeah and there's also a lake at the bottom of potato hill you never guess the name potato lake so we'll see you up there when we wake Birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right the future is bright oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, all right this is what i picture when i think colorado mountains not a hundred percent but nice tall rocky mountains still some snow on them we got a got a small lake right here in the foreground the mountains reflecting in the lake, got nice clouds, and it's just looking really nice. Yeah, the the sun's still kind of high, still kind of blasting it, but I don't know what I'm going to run into once I get further up, and we're I think we're more than halfway. We got plenty of time to stop and mess around a little bit. So when I first walked up here, I came off the trail and saw this. I knew I had to stop, but where I tried to position first. Just couldn't get the foreground was too ugly. 
trying to find a lot of mud and grass and not much of the lake. So came down and this is the only spot I could get where it wasn't really messy with a bunch of bushes. So I got my tripod jammed down in the mud, you behind the bushes, but put you there that way you kind of, I can kind of show you what I'm shooting at. <clears throat> All right, I was able to move you a little bit closer. I thought that was water behind me for some reason. This is actually a big, big deep, big beaver dam, can't talk. And actually down the lake we're camped out at next to, uh, that's all beaver dams all around that thing. So we went and walked on those. You can walk right across the lake on those. It's kind of nice. So that's what we kind of explored last night. But how I got this shot framed up right now is where the water meets the trees or the shoreline on the other side, that's the middle of the frame. And the water's pretty calm, getting nice reflection of those mountains in the lake. Really nice clouds in the sky. But with that sun being as bright as it is, I think I mentioned it just a second ago, but I need to go ahead and throw my polarizer on, just kind of take out some of the reflections of the lake and maybe pop, make that blue pop a little bit more. And we got plenty of time to get up to that other lake, like I said, and hopefully, since that sun's gonna set down over there, hopefully we can get some shots up there and get down here in time, to maybe get, more softer light and sunset uh, light. If not, this is not far from the truck and it's definitely worth coming up and getting just a shot of this in the evening. So I'm gonna grab my polarizer, grab a few shots and see what we can come up with. I got my first set of shots, which I think are coming out really nice. I actually took three three photos. I exposed one for the lake because the lake's a lot darker than the sky and the mountains. So I did a exposure for the lake, exposure for the mountains. And I also did one for the mid-tones of the, the trees in the middle because they're a little bit brighter than the lake and darker than the mountains when I exposed for the mountains. So. Went ahead and did three images. I'm also going to try out because I never really use it a whole lot. I'm figuring why not? We'll try it, see what the camera comes up with, and see what comes out in Lightroom. But I was going to go ahead and try my my HDR feature on here, so I can kind of just go in here, select it, and I'll just go. I'll go two stops above and two stops below. Uh, proper exposure. Uh, that's kind of what I did in the first images, but I'll just do it manually. Um, but I think those are gonna come out really nice. I'm, even with as bright as it is, it's already looking looking pretty nice. So let's try to get, get these shots with the camera's HDR and see how those come out. All right, I think the camera's HDR actually did a pretty decent job some of those clouds rolling in, took some of that sun off the mountains, so I'm kind of glad I got what I got when I did. Say that five times fast. But that's about it for this bar. I don't want to waste too much more time here. So we're going to go ahead and get on the trail and get back to the top. So we'll see you at the top. Hope you enjoy this photo.
All right, welcome to Potato Lake, Potato Hill. I knew the lake was big. I mean, on the map, it's showing us a half mile loop around, but it seems a lot bigger than that. Um, I'm hoping when we make our way around, we might be able to get some views of those Engineer Hill or Peak and the other ones over there. But it looks like once we go over this peninsula over here, those mountains we just shot down there on that other small lake, looks like we might be able to shoot right across this lake, get a nice shot of those. Um, cause last night and early this morning, got some really nice shots of those and really nice shots of those peaks out engineer Hill and all that. Cause last night storm rolled in and then once it cleared up, just these really moody and dramatic clouds just wrapping themselves around, around the mountains and just making some awesome photography. And the one, forget the name of it, but the way the clouds were going over top of it, if you ever seen a, a jet, videos of a jet breaking the sound barrier and you got that plume of cloud or not cloud, but whatever it is behind it, that's exactly what that looks. It looks like the peak of the mountain is breaking the sound barrier. So we're gonna wander around here, see what we can come up with. And until, until we meet again, I'll go ahead and throw some photos up that I took last night this morning. So. Hope you enjoy those and we're gonna go wander and see what we can find. Right, we did find a decent spot where I was kind of hoping to shoot from further down the lake, but no, there's no real interesting foreground to get in the shot. So you're pretty much shooting the water as the foreground. Um, I mean, it's getting great reflection. I was going to shoot up on this peninsula thing up here, but it's further down to the water, and it seems like there's more ripples and water, and the reflection's not as clear. And then the other the other issue I ran into. That sun, I guess, is down far enough. As I was walking around this lake, all this was lit up really nice. You got this shore there. It has real nice light tans and almost creamish colors with the uh, green pine trees and bushes on it. That was lighting up really nice. I thought that would look good. It's reflecting in the water, and then along with this mountains being reflected. And the mountains, a lot more of the mountains were lit up. But now it's... No light really, except on the peaks. I've already grabbed some shots. Um, went ahead and did the same thing as I did down there at the other one and didn't try to do an HDR, take multiple exposures. And we'll see how it turned out. I don't know. Um, so, I mean, either way, I'll do my best and I'll throw it up anyway so you can see what I was kind of going for. Um, hopefully it comes out, hopefully I can make it work. So I guess we're just gonna go ahead and walk down that trail. And on the way up here, we did get a decent view of the Engineer Hill or Peak, whatever it's called. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make our way down there and see if we can grab a shot from that. But this shot might work. I think the one before this will work. So it's not a total bust. And I think we'll be able to grab a couple decent shots. Uh, from the other spot. So 
I'm gonna pack it up and we're gonna head back down, down the hill and see what we can come with down there. Down here to this rock face, or I don't know what to call it, outcropping. That I thought that earlier to get a decent view of these two peaks, but we are looking right directly into the sun. I've just been standing here waiting. I know that sun's gonna go down behind those mountains, but we got all those aspen trees out there. That that sun is just they're just glowing that backlight coming right through those thin leaves and they're mixed in with all those dark pine trees so you get these like lines of glowing leaves and then dark portions of pine trees and we got another line of uh light colored leaves and i've been struggling because that that sun is shining it's real real hazy in that lens so i'm just kind of waiting let that sun go down further and further just keep watching those leaves and see if they keep stay glowing. I had one framed up down here. I, you just can't see it on that, but I'll show it on the back of the camera. Um, but it looked nice because it had a line of those glowing leaves, and then pines, and another line of glowing leaves. But I zoomed all the way in when I took the shot and looked at it. I couldn't see through the lens because of the sun that. It was random pine trees like between here and there and just really I'm not that good at photo photoshopping to crop that out. So we're just gonna hang out here and wait and see what happens. So hopefully we can walk away at least one more. If not, like I said before, it's not a total bus. We still got some some images. So we're gonna wait a little bit longer and see what we come up with. Alright, we find ourselves back at the original photograph from earlier shooting over that lake. Um, the other one, the other side just wasn't working. The sun started going down. Um, and as also as it went down, those leaves were getting less and less lit up and just shooting directly into that sun. There's nothing, I, just nothing I could do. Um, so look back behind me, I kept seeing these mountain peaks lit up real nice. And so, I decided to risk it and I packed everything up real quick and started running up here, which that didn't last long. Started walking real quick because it was a lot further than I remembered. And but I got up here earlier. I mean, it's still pretty blue now. I did take some shots, not not really caring for them because I got up here. That sky was just completely blue, no interest. Mountains were lit up really nice. And then also the foreground and everything is just dark and flat. The only thing that looks good is the mountains, and there's nothing to go with them. Um, Target subjective. Some people will probably see a shot here. I just don't. If there's more clouds in the sky, then yeah, I would focus more on the mountains in the sky. I even tried throwing my 70 to 300 on and try to take some tight detail shots, but nothing I tried and it just it just seems plain plain to me it just seems the typical shot um, or I'm just spoiled from this morning and last night with all those moody clouds just wrapping around those mountain peaks and all that that's probably what I'm picturing and now this just doesn't please me that much but call me spoiled <laughs> um so that's it as far as trying to get any photographs. Um, maybe once we make it down to the truck um, with that sun going down, because over there there's clouds. Maybe they'll make their way over there and uh, might have some color in the sky, but we won't know until we get down there. But 
Still walked away, I think, with a couple, at least a couple decent photographs. Um, definitely glad I decided to get out because earlier when I was debating whether to come up here or not, that sky was really looking threatening uh, for another storm. But I'm glad I decided to risk it. Gorgeous lake up there. Um, hope that shot up from up there does come out. And, uh, but we have plenty of time in Colorado to spend. So we'll have plenty more time to explore and see really nice mountain peaks and mountain lakes and all that. And I'm really waiting for it to warm up so we can start hiking up here and camping out um, at the mountaintops. So we ain't gotta worry about going up and down in the same day. So that'd be really nice. Also, thanks to those who have subscribed. Last time I checked, we're at 208. So only seven, what, 700, what is that? I can't do math. 208, 792, yeah, 792 more, uh, more subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like the video, share it, everything helps me out. Come on with good, good photos, so I'll close it out here, and we'll see you guys on the next one.